Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to part 15 of our beginner's guide for Windows Server Active Directory. And let's see what we have covered so far. So we have designed and implemented the OU structure for Contoso Financial Services. And today's agenda would be we will be deploying an additional domain controller in Contoso.com domain. So we'll be bringing up a, a new domain controller in an existing domain. So it will be somewhat like this. So, so before we begin, let's see what is a domain controller. So any computer on which Active Directory database is present can be called as a domain controller. Or any computer on which Active Directory domain services are installed and configured can be called as a domain controller. So we have two servers over here, Berlin DC, Boston DC. And we have installed Active Directory domain services on these servers. And a database has been created. That's the reason they are called as domain controllers. And we have other servers as well in our infrastructure, database servers, file servers, say update servers, DHCP, KMS, DNS, and other application servers such as antivirus servers, say some backup servers. But these are not called as domain controllers. These are called, these are either member servers or standalone servers. These are not domain controllers because they don't host Active Directory database. So there is a very clear distinction between a domain controller and a member server or a standalone server. So we are going to deploy a new domain controller in an existing domain that is additional domain controller. So this is the current setup. We have a domain name Contoso.com and we have one domain controller, Atlanta DC. Now our target is to install and say configure Active Directory domain services on a new server named Singapore DC. So we will promote this server to a domain controller and a database will be created on this domain, uh, this server. Singapore DC and this server will be an additional domain controller in our Contoso.com domain. Now let us understand the steps in promoting a server as a domain controller, as an additional domain controller. Number one, we will install Active Directory Domain Services role on Singapore DC. We'll promote it to domain controller by selecting the option new domain controller in an existing domain and then we'll complete the configuration and check the OU structure on Singapore domain controller. So let's jump on the labs now. So we have logged on to Atlanta DC and uh, we have opened up Active Directory users and computers and we can see a server named Singapore DC is a member of Contoso.com Active Directory domain. So let's log on to Singapore DC now and go to local server over here. So this computer named Singapore DC is the member of Contoso.com domain and we have logged on to this server as a domain administrator. Now let us install Active Directory Domain Services role on this Singapore DC. So let me go to manage, add rules and features, click on next, click on next over here. The process is straightforward to install any role, click on next. I'll select Active Directory Domain Services. I'll add the required features. I will click on next over here. Click on next and simply install the role. Again, there are two parts in, in the say in configuring the role. One is installing the, any server role. And the second part is configuring the role service. 
so this is the part one we are installing the role on this particular server and configuring means promoting this server to a domain controller we never say that uh, we are configuring active directory instead the terminology used is promote a server to a domain controller so we can see that the role has been installed successfully now it's asking us to promote this server to a domain controller so let me click on promote this server to a domain controller and we have a new dialog box and it says active directory domain services configuration wizard now and uh, as you know that we'll select add a new add a domain controller to an existing domain and this is our domain contoso.com and uh, we have logged on using contoso administrators credentials so we will be promoting this server as a domain controller but as a new domain controller in an existing domain this is an additional domain controller i'll click on next over here now we will be configuring this server as a dns and a global catalog so it's still checking let me provide the dsrm password and the site name is the default first site name so we'll not we'll just leave it as it is next we can just ignore this dns warning we have already discussed this dns warning in our earlier videos next asking about the replication we'll just leave it on active directory let active directory decide on say the replication partner so again we have also discussed the default location of our active directory database and the syswall folder let me click on next over here and next so it will go for the prerequisite check for active directory on this server so let the system check if this server is fine to host active directory database and the prerequisite check was passed successfully and let us install active directory now on this particular server by clicking on install so it started the install now so it's checking domain upgrade status waiting for dns installation to finish so we just need to focus on this progress area over here and after the installation and the configuration is completed or the promotion is completed the server will automatically restart now it's pulling the schema partition and is creating groups configuring dns on this server and it will restart okay so it is going to restart automatically we don't we don't have any choice it will restart automatically so let's wait for the restart now now the server has restarted let me log on to singapore dc now using the domain admin credentials so this is our singapore dc and this is our atlanta dc so let me just go to domain controllers container right click and let me just refresh it we should see singapore dc configured as a domain controller now so we don't have anything under computers let me right click and refresh it so we have two domain controllers now atlanta dc and singapore dc so here is our singapore dc let let us open up active directory users and computers and let us check the ou structure so here we have organization we have america usa atlanta and we have created all these ou's so, so we can say that the data has been replicated
so let us summarize today's session so we deployed an additional domain controller in contoso.com domain and this was end of part 15 hope you have enjoyed today's session and in our part 16 uh, we are going to say transfer FSMA rules using graphical user interface and command line interface so we'll be transferring FSMA rules from Atlanta DC to Singapore DC and from Singapore DC back to Atlanta DC using graphical user interface and command line interface and first of all we'll understand the prerequisites to transfer FSMA rules then we'll understand the transfer process and then we'll transfer the FSMA rules so thanks for joining and if you if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new please subscribe and share this video with your technical community and have a great day